Oh, man. If you missed the morning mess this morning, you got to help me. Here's what you missed. Okay, guys, it's time for Awkward Wednesdays. Can we say good morning to Jason? Morning, Jason. Hello, Jason. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> uh, we're great. Um, we read the email, Jason. You are in uh, the most awkward situation I've seen in a long time, and I've seen a lot. A major confession you want to do to the ex, you said? Well, first of all, let me let me start from the beginning. I started dating this girl, really sweet girl. Her name is Andrea. And we were dating for a while, uh, even to the point where uh, she met my family, I met her family. So things were okay, but it just got to the point where uh, it wasn't, there was no passion, you know? I mean, we were more like friends and buddies. And, you know, like in the bedroom, I felt like I was sleeping with a nun, you know? Oh, oh my God. So I, we kind of, you know, ended it. And that was kind of that. And a few months later, out of nowhere, I get a, a private message on Facebook. Uh-huh. And it's it's from her mom, and she's saying, "Hey, you know, I'm really sorry it didn't work out with you guys, but you know, I'm actually going out for drinks with a bunch of people that I work with, and there's just one person I think you'd really connect with if you're, you know, if you're open to dating." Me. Hold on one second. Do you have that kind of relationship with the mom where you two are like having casual conversations like that? Especially the mom is like, "Where's the loyalty to your daughter? How you go go and try to hook up her ex boyfriend with somebody else?" You know, at the time, hey, you know, I'm single. And it was a place that I like to go anyway. So I, you know, I said, yeah, I'll go there anyway. I'll, I'll meet a couple of friends. Who will, for me, so I'd go there with my friends, wow. telling them how I'm going to... So what happened when you went to this happy hour, which I would have never gone to in the first place? But what happened? Well, we just went and hung out. My friends were there. They We all connected. And we, you know, it was like a big group of people. We had a lot of fun. And at one point, she starts getting real flirty. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, first of all, just a little uncomfortable, and, and who's this person you were setting me up with? And she says, it's me. And at first, I'm like, no, nah, that, that's not cool. We can't do that. She'll get really upset. God. You know, things led to things. We kept drinking, doing shots. We were teasing each other. And then what? at the end of the night, we kind of hooked up a little. Oh, God. You hooked up with your ex-girlfriend's mom. What do we mean? Yeah. Uh, what? And then it was like, no, no, I, no, I can't do this. And she was also like, no, this is probably you know, and she kind of messaged me again, and then we started talking back and forth. And oh, then, then we made a date to go do dinner, and we've kind of been seeing each other quite a bit. And, and the problem now is I took her to a Suns game the other night, uh, and, we went and, and we got caught on the kiss cam. And <laughs> one of my friends saw it. They were at the stadium, too. I didn't even know they were there at the game. And uh, all I need is, is for someone to go back to her and say, hey, you know, Jason was at the ball game the other night, and we saw the kiss cam, and he was kissing your brother. Right. Kind of place to... Okay. Do well, take a breath. Take a deep yeah. breath. Okay. Because you're going <laughs> 1,000 miles an hour here. So, uh, first things first. Wow. Second thing, uh, you want to call your ex-girlfriend? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah. I think, it, I think it's the best way, because that's kind of back me up and help. Okay. I hope. This is weird. It's it is. God, really. I, I, let's just all shut up. Let's just call this. Let's call your ex. I can't wait to see what the hell her reaction is. All right, cool. Okay. Your, cross your fingers. Uh, cross more than that. All right, Jason, hold on right there. Calling um, your ex-girlfriend, Andrew, to let her know that you're dating her mom. <sighs> Thank you. What the hell? I don't, I don't. Don't look at me. I don't know. Okay, so we're back with uh, Jason. You there? I'm here. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm really wondering if this is the smartest idea. Uh, no, it's it's brilliant because we're off the air. We're talking about this. this is probably the most awkward Wednesday uh, call we've ever taken. You want us to soften the blow with your ex-girlfriend, who we're going to call here in about 30 seconds, to let her know that you've started dating who? Uh, her mom. Her mom. Yeah. You yeah. are something else. What is it with men that will date the moms, the sisters, the friends? If there's one silver lining here, you're doing the right thing and telling your ex that this is yes. the new person yes. in your life. And I don't know what side I'm on, but I'll be here. My heart is in my throat right now. Okay, let's call Andrea. Hello? Hello. Can we speak to Andrea, please? Who's calling? Uh, this is the morning mess on Live 101.5. Uh, we do mornings here. How you doing? Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome. I love your show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. Well, let's keep that energy and positivity, okay? <laughs> right. Okay. So we had someone call our show who um, is a fan of you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Uh, I'm a fan of your family. Way to oh put God. it. All right. Uh, he wanted to give you a shout out to her. Like, hey, let's do it live on the air. Do you mind? Who is it? Fan of Andrea. Where are you at? Uh, I'm here. Hello. Oh. Do you know who that is, Andrea? Yeah, it's Jason. What? I I just wanted to you know call and you know first of all say hi you know I haven't seen you in a while and I hope all is well but we broke up about a month ago and uh-huh. in time I started I started dating someone I I kind of on Facebook and uh huh yeah and? um it's what? your mom I'm sorry what Karina you're dating my mom. Uh, well, yeah, kind of. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a f-ing second here. You're da- of all the women in the world, you're dating my mom. It was. Are you not kidding me? It's not. I just. I. I wanted to talk to you before someone else tells you something. And now, now, in all, in all fairness, per Jason, this wasn't his idea. This I did is not set this up. About three weeks, a month after we broke up. I get a private message from your mom telling me that she's going out with a bunch of her friends from work oh my God. and that there's oh, someone God. she wants to hook me up with. Yeah, maybe it's and your I, mom I you should have a conversation with. <laughs> well, yeah, I, actually, I, I think you're right. Because you know what, yeah. Jason? I'm going to be super honest with you. You're a complete loser. And I was actually happy to have you out of my life. But now you're back in my life. You're in my family. And I'm going to make sure this ends right away. I'm calling my mother right now. You can f*** off. You can get Andrew, mad. I, wow. you're a f-ing I don't think she oh. has I think she didn't hang up, did she? Yeah, she sure did. Here's the thing. There's so many factors here. First of all, her mom is wrong. You're wrong because you reciprocated that offer. I feel sorry for your ex. You had a choice not to date her mom, bro. You're literally a mother You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You cannot, absolutely cannot say that. Is the definition. So if she called you that, she's not, she's not out of pocket. You literally are. Maybe, maybe, maybe you guys can help me. Dude, with we've got mom. counseling services. Figure your life out. You do not need to be dating your ex girlfriend's mom. All right. All right. Well. Yeah, and make sure you pick up a pregnancy test for her mom and tell her to pray and spray. Oh my really? God! That's, Again? <laughs> that's your advice? Yes. Women who get pregnancy tests, they usually pray and spray. <sighs> Right? Am I right? God, Joey. Am I right? Not again. Anyways, the winning don't stop. $1,000 coming up. Your opportunity to buy as many pregnancy tests as you need, okay? How did this go from dating his ex-girlfriend's mom to pregnancy? Listen, we're a community station. I'm here for the community. If you need to buy a Costco pack of pregnancy tests, Mm -hmm. we got you. The Morning Mess. Weekdays, 530 to 10 a.m. Live 101.